All right, Fred, so I've done my pre-ride check. My fuel tank's full, my WS250 is ready to go. Now I need to get ready to go, so I need to gear up. What kind of clothing do you recommend wearing when you're riding a widescape? Like, can I use my snowmobile gear? You know, what's the deal here? Yes, Seb, you can, but you are getting up for sure because riding the widescape is more physical than trailing with a snowmobile. Right, right. So what we suggest is to go with a multi-layer clothing. Yeah. So go maybe for a small base layer yeah. and a waterproof shell yeah. on top. Yeah. Or adding adding a bibs. Yeah. So waterproof bibs yeah. are a complete full setup. So complete like one piece. Yeah, like a one piece shell. Yeah, right? one yeah. piece yeah. shell yeah. Yeah. on top of it. So, and in terms of security, you always wear a full face helmet full face with helmet. a good pair of goggles. Yeah and knee pads. So knee pads is really important for this type of vehicles because you ride the WS250 stand up. Yeah. And your knees are really close from the back cover here. Right, right. So the chance to bang your knee yeah. on the back cover are really high. Yeah. And also when you ride the WS250 in deep snow conditions, yeah. you have to kneel. Right like on the platform to get back up on it right to get back up on it exactly so this is why this is real important to yeah, wear perfect. knee pad on these type of vehicles awesome and also wearing proper snow boots is also a really important item so yeah. if you can have like boots with good grips matching with the platform yeah this is a good way to go for sure perfect awesome so yeah pretty pretty straightforward right layers is the name of the game breathable material right and then you get a good waterproof shell maybe a one-piece shell full face helmet goggles knee pads very very important and then good uh, you know good snow boots with uh, that are pretty high so snow doesn't get in good grip so that's perfect thanks for uh, thanks for the tip fred thank you